uncommon luxury brands that apparently are more expensive than the most common luxury brands. I don't know when this happened. Apparently I just woke up one morning and these brands were everywhere and I not letting them get away with it this easy. So guys, let's just jump right into it. The first brand is The Row. Okay, now I've heard of The Row. I get it. It's the Olsen twins, Mary Kate and Mary Kate Jr. They are doing this brand and obviously it's been around for a while and they are riding the coattails of quite a luxury. They are milking the last drop out of the teat of that trend and they are taking it all the way to the bank because the prices of these items... <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Like, I understand they're probably great quality. I've seen some TikTok videos about how certain stitches on a jumper is, you know, done to this standard, which means it's, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's expensive and it, it's worth the quality and I'm not buying it. Okay. Now the row, if you're listening, Mary Kate, Mary Kate Jr. I can't remember the other one's name. No, no, thank you. We are not accepting this. Okay. We, no, nah. I said, no. Nah. Oh, and don't worry, I've got examples to cite. Now, the bags from the row are having this, you know, cult following for some unknown reason. But let's start with the Devon Leather Tote. Now, I will point out it is in low stock on um, Net-A-Porter and 11,566 Australian dollars for this bag that looks like, you know when you get a caramel sundae from McDonald's and you accidentally spill a bit of caramel on the seat and then you, you've sat in it and it's kind of spread out? This is what it looks like. And um, like, I haven't done that before, but I've, I've heard it looks like that. <laughs> but like $11,000 for a caramel stain on your car seat. Like, I can't, like, no. Next, Leather Lothers from The Row, $2,225 for this, something my Nana would have bought from Payless Shoes and she would have thought, oh look, I'll do it because they're 20 bucks. Uh, $2,225 for this. Ugh, baffled. Guys, if you are new here on my channel, I like to talk about all things luxury. So if that's something you're into, I'd love it. If you could hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified when I bring out new videos. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. The next brand, <laughs> Laura Piana. <sighs> Never heard of this brand. And I understand it's been out for like a hundred years. Who in their right mind let the extra pocket bag from them become so popular and it's so expensive. Now, this bag has become a trending it bag. No idea why. It is plain as a piece of white bread. It is literally on um, My Teresa, for example, they're always all sold out. Um, you can get them through personal shoppers for a high premium. I guess the retail in Australian dollars sits around the $4,000 mark, but I've seen them go up to $6,000. It looks like a free amenities bag that you were given from an airplane and not even a nice air airline, like a budget airline. The one where they're like, yeah, here's a toothbrush. It's probably got arsenic on the bristles, but you know, it's in God's hands now. Like, I don't understand. Am I out of touch? Have I come down in the last shower? Like these bags are basic. Like, like even if the quality, which I'm assuming is good quality because they're so expensive, even so, I, I don't understand. And all of their kind of ready to wear outfits and like, you know, cashmere jumpers, like everything is so expensive. Like you don't have enough brand equity. And, you know, I'm obviously speaking from myself and the people I surround myself with. I hadn't heard of this company or this brand until this little L19 bag became popular. Um, and I understand that I am not, you know, what I say goes, but they don't have enough brand equity to be charging $20,000 for a jacket. Okay, there I said it. And um, $5,000 for a free amenities bag? No, absolutely not. Like, why would someone go and buy that? Cause it's quiet luxury. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Go to Louis Vuitton. 
if you want something for $5,000 that is also a ripoff. Like, I can't understand. I, I baffled. Last brand, it is Brunello Cuccinelli. Okay. <sighs> this brand is so expensive, albeit their menswear stuff is very much my style. You know, it's very tailored, it's very classic, it's very polished, all the colours are really nice, it looks luxurious, you know, they use cashmere and blah 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 blah. But the price on it, you would have thought that, like, blind monks sitting in Taiwan were making this stuff from scratch. Okay, it is so expensive. But let's start with some of the bags, shall we? One of their Leather Street Backpack. Okay, no creativity in the name. If you have street in the name, I'm not interested. 10,000 Australian dollars for this backpack. Now, unless that backpack is coming with audacity, I'm not sure what else you're getting for the other $10,000 of it. Because it is, not only is it hideous, it is so basic, like, I, surely I'm missing something. Surely there's a story. Because this brand, once again, they do not have enough brand equity to be having the audacity to charge $10,000 for that. Like, correct me if I'm right, but they, they can't be doing that. Moving on to some of their more loungewear. You think, oh yeah, loungewear, casual. Yeah, yeah. No, wrong, not casual in price. $5,000 for a pair of cable knit sweatpants. What is relaxing about wearing $5,000 pants? Because I am yet to see it. That's more expensive than like Louis Vuitton, Bottega, ready to wear stuff. At least they for like loungewear, they're more in the $3,000 mark, which is a lot more easy to stomach if you're spilling your coffee on them. $5,000 for sweatpants. Oh, you'll be sweating wearing them because you'll be so scared. You won't even want to fart in them. Like crazy. And like even more like, um, kind of winter jackets or like, what are they called? Like skillet jackets, I guess, kind of like Montclair. $7,000. Like, no, no, thank you. I would rather freeze. I just don't understand. I don't get it, but maybe some of you guys do. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Please let me know in the comments down below. Have I gone mad? Actually, don't answer that. Do you think I am being reasonable? <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> Maybe don't answer that either. What do you think about this video and these brands? Do they, are they all right? Do they have the ability to be charging that? I mean, ultimately they can charge whatever they like, but I do not think that they have the status to be doing as such. $10,000 for a hideous backpack is not okay in my, in my books. <laughs> but please let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have not subscribed, I would love it if you could and give this video the thumbs up too. And yes, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all very shortly in my next video. Bye.